Welcome to the Nerd Psycho Comic Flix Show for Loki Season 1, Episode 1, uh, which is also entitled Glorious Purpose. Welcome to the Nerd Psycho Comic Flix Show. This is our domain, and we are the nerds, and we talk about comic flicks on our show. And that is pretty much the encapsulation of uh, what we do over here. So welcome to everybody. If you're new, uh, joining us for the first time. To introduce everybody, I'm SC Hitch, and I'm in charge because I am my computer's the one where I do the production. So I have the button. And that means this is my show, so what ha what I want to happen, happen. Uh, we're also joined by, by our good friend Michael. Michael, who's a, a hardcore comic fan, big-time Marvel fan. Uh, super excited to have his input about Loki. And, of course, D.P. Brown. The man... Back. The myth, yep. the legend, the man who started it all, and and we're here. Y'all didn't chase me away. I had I had to come <laughs> back, you know. So really great to be back in the Marvel uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe after <laughs> you know a shorter break. Um, before we jump into the topic at hand, which is the uh, premiere of this much anticipated special series uh, starring uh, Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson, among others. Uh, DP, why don't you tell everybody where they can find our content, please? NerdCyclopedia.com, people, make sure that you're going on our website. You will find all our links there to all your favorite platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and also um, Instagram at NerdCyclopedia. Um, you can also check out our YouTube, um, NerdCyclopedia, our, our our channel. And also, we are on Facebook, Carbonite. Oh, God. <laughs> the nerd <laughs> we're, we're on facebook at nerd nerd cyclopedia as well and we will post we do post our our ncfs show on there as well <laughs> that's right we post it a couple places make sure people can get it uh maybe that's a disservice to society but we're still willing to do it uh and that's fine uh so let's talk about the show and stop talking about our show and <laughs> let's talk about the thing you know that uh, disney spent all this money on and that is loki so yeah it's so, spending money so the action picks up right at right during Avengers four. Right, 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 right. It's, it's like a whole. It's like oh, like that. It starts well, right, right it's Avengers movies. one, where it, where right. it leaves off. That's right. It actually it does start out in Avengers one. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. So so great, so great. So I like the I love the choice here that they're very clearly defining which Loki this is. This is not the Loki at the end of uh, you know at the beginning of Avengers three. This is the Loki. In yeah. 2012, which is a very yeah. different character, uh, as we find out of the, over the course of this episode. Um, before we get into the plot, I don't want to jump. You know, we're going to get specific and we're going to diagnose. You know, get into all the all the brass tacks here. But I wanted yeah. to ask each of you first. You know, who's your favorite non, like, what's your favorite character that was not Loki in this in this series show? Like, who's your favorite casting? Who who were you excited to see? Who were you, you know, who did you like to see in this show? Michael, why don't we start with you? Who do we like to see? Or who like, who, we did see? like, who were you excited to see, Cat? Like, in the show, actor, you know, character. Was there anybody that you were just like, oh wow, I'm glad, or I like this this characterization? Well, I feel like it's too early to determine that. I mean, I do feel like the quips with Owen Wilson. I mean, he's always good with the you know the the one liners, the quips. So his interaction with Loki. I mean, and Tom Hiddleston going back and forth in the elevator mm -hmm. alone. I mean, that's you know. So I've never really liked Owen Wilson as a heartthrob kind of person, but but as a comic relief guy, he's always been a funny guy. So he was so, a heartthrob. I mean, as for really? so far, I mean, good time. <laughs> oh, he was a heartthrob in Morning Crash. Really? Oh, oh wow. For, okay. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's why the, that's why all the chicks uh, tried to get away from him as fast as they could. Um, <laughs> I was excited to see I was excited to see Owen Wilson, and I think that he's well cast here uh, as a guy who's kind of perplexed by not not the chaos of what's going on, but you know, why, like, what is it about Loki that makes him tick? He doesn't understand the motivation. Um, I really enjoyed those scenes as, those scenes as well, where, where there, there's this interrogation that's happening. And it's, it's an inter interesting way to unpack, you know, a fictional character's internal monologue, you know, um, because they say that this is the reason that Sherlock Holmes has a Watson or Batman has a Robin. So they can talk, talk it out. And we find out some pretty interesting things about Loki here in these scenes. Um, what did you guys learn about Loki maybe that you didn't know um, before this series started? What about you, DP? What did you... But before the series started? Like what, what new information was presented to you about Loki the character in this episode? Like, did you learn, did you learn anything new about it, like his motivations? 
Well, it it, it was interesting to see the how how um once he viewed his future, <laughs> it sort of came to you know his future sort of came to him really quick. How his um I guess motivation changed. You know, he saw himself mainly as like the god of mischief. Well, you know, he is a god of mischief. Um, is like a um, you know, just a the a, a mischievous villain and everything. You know, but when once he saw his future and and his um, you know, the the his, the all the events and everything that happened, um, in the other t- in the main timeline that he didn't experience and everything, he saw he's a more well rounded person than what he gives himself credit to be. You know. Um, and seeing that sort of like um, him seeing that sort of confirms that mm-hmm. for himself and he sort of changes really quickly, <laughs> you know, and, and just that, um, you know, in, in a very few short moments. So I found that really interesting. It seemed that he was very taken with the death of his adoptive parents, you know, uh, sp- particularly Frigga, particularly the death of his mother. He seemed he was always close to his mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He seems struck that his that that line where you know you sent him you thought you were sending them to Thor but you sent him to to her, really seemed to strike home with him. Um, what's your favorite? What would you guys say was Michael? What was your favorite thing from this episode? What was your number one like thing? Uh, I mean, just just for the take. I mean, like, uh, so like I'm gonna go with this for two parts here. So the beginning, you know, just just the pure comedy of of Loki. You know, you expect. When you see a Loki, you know you're, you're expecting to laugh. You know you see a Tom Hiddleston, you're, you're you know you're expecting to get those the quick one-liners. Um, you know, especially the interaction with him and Owen Wilson. You know, they're both you know both comedians that are just going to go back and forth with each other. So, you know, during the air interrogation, during the elevator scene, you know, they're they're both it's just both great examples of um, you know, j- just the humor of the show. What what you're expecting of it as well too. You know, you're. You're expecting there to be inter- to be entertained and engaged with it. Um, as for the second part, you really dive into Loki as him being a tragic character as well too. You know when he defines of, of like why he kills people. You know it's just the, the illusion of him being a weak character, and then he has to you know kill to give off the illusion that you know he is not this weak character. So he goes to you know after he looks into his future and everything that's. You know, the realization of him, you know, self-awareness of him of himself there, and that's what Owen Wilson is trying to get out of him, you know, the whole time as well. You know, like what 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 makes you tick? What is this? And you know, so the self-awareness that he absorbs, you know, I think that's going to go a lot further into the plot development as the more episodes go on. Of course, great, great, great point, Michael, because that's that tragedy has so so many layers, and the tragedy of it is people suffer you know, because of that weakness, you know? So if, does that make him an outright evil, you know, villain? I I mean, if you put it like that, no. But at the same time, he's still, um, you know, um, imbuing like the, the the villainy and everything and the the, the um, killing and all that stuff that, that villains do, you know, do, do, you know, that do, you know, that villains do, you know? So for him to um, to feel that way about himself, just to overcompensate, <laughs> you know, just to make himself, you know, um, look better as the eyes, uh, you know, in the eyes of whoever um, to keep up that front as a mischievous, you know, person and everything. So many people, the tragedy is so many people suffer because of that, which, you know, he just doesn't care. It's a it's a selfishness, ultimately. Yes. And, and and this this idea that he wants to rule is really more along the lines of he wants things to run the way he wants to, them to run. Um, I think it was interesting to see the, the Loki aggrandizement that was on display at the beginning of Thor 3, and to think about how that you know that character, as he moves forward, uh, you know, is, is all about this big, huge statue to Loki, and, you know, this big, giant, like, you know, star-studded play of Sam Neill and Matt Damon about Loki's death. Uh, just really, really just, me- just a lot of megalomania there, right? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, if you look at his upbringing, he's always been around people as powerful as he is. Mm-hmm. He's always been surrounded by people that are more powerful than him. I mean, just, lo- you know, his brother, you know, who, who gets all the accolades, who gets right. the praise, you know, it's so much more powerful than Loki. Mm-hmm. So he has to go out about it a different way to say, hey, don't forget about me, dad. Hey, you know, I- I'm here, too, you know, type of thing. So 
I mean, I'm just looking at it that way. So, I, I'm, I'm just struck by you know, this idea that, you know, the is, has Loki like actually turned some corner here? This, this is, this is going to be the question for me at the end. Of this is, is like what Loki is going to do next. So I guess I don't want to spoil that, um, you know, just quite yet. So I don't want to get into that. I want to talk about my favorite moment, which is the ruthlessness of this organization and how they just like zap people out of existence without much of a thought. <laughs> Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. It's so it's so wild. And so let's talk a little bit about the um, about the TVA, right? Let's talk about the uh, uh, the time variance authority and what they're doing. And the, w- the one thing I appreciate about the TVA was when uh, Loki comes to the realization that like there's a higher power that controls everything. And he's never heard of, I mean, he's been around for over a thousand years and I, I've never heard of you. That's because you haven't had it. You know, you haven't had to. And, and then, you know, he, he goes thinking the infinity stones are the most powerful weapon and nothing is better than stronger no. than the infinity stones. And the dude opens a drawer and has a drawer full of infinity stones. <laughs> that that, that like, was oh, great, yeah, great, great scene, great scene, great acting yeah. by, and great reaction by Tom Hiddleston. Like, mm. I got this thing, okay. This is the thing I wanted for so long, and I thought that was so powerful. And he looks, and, and the way that the camera positioned itself, because we see him hold the tesseract, you know, which you know he he wanted and everything. But then he slowly looks into the to the to the thing and just ignores what he's holding, which is very valuable to him. And you know, the camera you know comes up, and we see the Infinity Stones there. What the heck is the Infinity Stones doing there? You yeah, know, got a drawer full of them. Got a drawer full of them. You know, and, and this thing that you know that's 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 been hold, held so dear throughout, like you know the whole you know um, um that's whole phase uh, one, man. Yeah, the whole the whole phase one and everything. You know, what I'm saying all the way up until Endgame, and you know they're just they're sitting in the drawer doing nothing. You know, and then he comes to the realization, like, oh, ah. Uh, what, what what where am I? What the heck is this? And then he asks. Maybe, the obvious maybe I question. should listen to this own. Yeah, yeah, character. exactly. <laughs> so, or yeah, yeah. He asked the uh, and and you know Hitch asked earlier one of the um characters. I love the um the um the what 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 I don't did they even say his name? But the the Casey. guy Casey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I I like I like the way he just reacts to to Loki and everything. <laughs> Um, I don't understand the threat. Just I'm about to explain the threat to me. <laughs> and, 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 and the whole fish reference and everything. Yeah. What fish? What? <laughs> I, I got to know what I'm complying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it was great, great, great stuff. But you know, but but Loki just you know he he sits there in awe because it's something he seeks power, mm-hmm. and this is power that he's never even heard about. Right. You know? This is and more power than he's this ever more, seen. This <laughs> more exactly. You know. And then uh, uh, the other scene later, he comes back. I- I'm never going to get back to where I'm supposed to be at, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's the, I've tried that's another this, Saturday. I've tried using this test rack so many times, it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. It's, it's a sad thing. Test rack's empty. It's a problem. Uh, I wonder how many of those like are are those stones arriving at the uh, TVA or because of Loki's that are just like, oh, okay, and then like you know what I mean? They got to deal with another one of these guys coming through, another uh, multiple timeline variant. You know, the TV, the Time Variance Authority, the great lizards in the sky that run everything. <laughs> uh, great lizards. This is, this is an interesting, it's an interesting uh, narrative construct because what the TVA is, effectively, is like comic book editors and authors who say what happens and why it doesn't oh, happen. Yeah. Right? It's Kevin Feige. Yes. Kevin Feige. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's one of the lizards. <laughs> right, right, right. He's probably the lizard now. I, mean, I don't know what happened to the other he, two. He, yeah. Stan was <laughs> one. You know, either, in the continuity of the comics, they're, they're worthy and we're in the etern- eternal sphere because we're out of their fictional universe. Anyway, we don't have to. Let's not get into the metaphysics. But let's talk a little bit about the TVA. So these guys, uh, you know, Mobius M. Mobius, who is the character that Owen Wilson is playing, is effectively tasked with keeping things that aren't supposed to happen uh, from happening. He's got a real bad case of the supposed to, uh, to quote the right. Simpsons. And, and I love, you know, just how uh, it's, it's so Marvel to do it. Just like, as I said, you know, the blip, 
oh, oh, the Avengers, you know, broke the timeline. That was supposed to happen. No explanation. <laughs> no nothing. That's it. And we're just supposed to go with it. Okay. That was but 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 happen. but it's a question that I didn't even consider that I'm glad they answered because they they they, oh, they yeah. addressed it. You know, they didn't if they hadn't addressed it, dealing with this whole time variance thing, someone would have eventually came up. Well, the Avengers did the same thing Loki did. So right. why aren't they being held accountable? Right. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what I say. It's so Marvel. They they knew, you know, I mean, they're uh, they're not, you know, they're, they yeah. they see what goes on on Twitter. They they're yeah, not, you yeah, know, they're yeah, not afraid yeah, to address yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah, let's yeah. just address it with one line. It was supposed to happen. Okay, I buy <laughs> okay. it. Okay. <laughs> is, is is that the way you appease us, comic book? <laughs> yep. The, you I'm know, good. I, I buy it. <laughs> because like, we're so like we're so okay. We're, the flip happened. Let's move we're, on. We're, we're, we're so nitpicky and everything, but you tell us, okay, that bam, you know, it was supposed to happen. We will accept it. <laughs> Right. We All just right. Accept that, sounds good. that sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> just give me an explanation. You Something know? plausible. Hey, Something I can hang it? my hat on. I accept right. it. Yeah. Oh man, that's funny. I, I really love this this you know, we talk we've talk, been talking when we talk about the uh the Marvel series in particular about the postmodern, right? And how, you know, there's all this this unique sort of spin, this meta commentary about how these characters are representative of a real guiding hand in the sense that they're, they're they're like tasked by God to keep things running the way they should run. And who is, you know, God more than the comic creator. They're literally, they create. So within the, within the realm of the comic, of course, outside, they're just regular people like you or me. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) They just only have the power of a pen. That's it. And how powerful, (laughs) much mightier than a sword. Indeed. Uh, Definitely. For sure. So, so these, so the, these lizards have said, "Look, there's only going to be one story, and we're going to stick to it, and we're not going to have a bunch of competing stories, right? We're going to have, um, you know, copyright homogeny, and Disney will enforce it, and there will be no, you know, else worlds, right? There will be no what ifs, and, and obviously, you know, we we have the idea of the multi multiverse is going to be in Doctor Strange. Obviously, we have Wanda creating, um." you know, chaos magic, which is basically accessing things from the multiverse. We have all of this stuff from, from Falcon, the winter soldier setting up like the sort of the more, the real politics stuff that's on the ground. And now this cosmic end saying, look, if you thought that, you know, Thanos was a big deal. Well, that it's not because this is a, this is another, there is another layer to reality. (laughs) This Russian nesting doll has been, Oh man! Yeah. If yeah. any stone tax, so phase four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? What is that? The space stone? Oh, is this space stone? Oh, I got a whole cute. drawer full of them. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I got a drawer full of space stone. But I like that. <laughs> you want one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go, kid. <laughs> Thanks, you want to be a Thanos for a day? You know, yeah. go ahead. Have at it. Here, have my Coke, Mean Joe. Here, take the time stamp. Yeah. Oh, right here, kid. Right. Here, have a Coke, Mean Joe. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, really cool stuff. I, I I'm really enjoying the show a lot so far. I like that they kind of really clearly explain everything in the um, you know, there's rules to this. There's a certain amount of time they have yeah. to fix things before it goes sideways. Right. You know, there's yeah. only so many. You know, there's a reason they're they're keeping things in line. Uh, it's longstanding. Yeah, and they, they didn't have you know they didn't go over like a whole episode explaining them you know the multiverse and everything. You know, you just have the one five minute video of Tara Strong's overvoice of it. You know, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's the popcorn before the movie video, you know. It's just, like, it's just like, oh, okay. So you got a nexus coming. You got the variants, you know. Okay, we we just plop you right back there and put it in here, and yeah, then we're good uh, to go. Uh, another just thing, remember you know, to grab your just, ticket. just just explain things in like a couple minutes. Bam. Okay, is that what it is? I'm good, Marvel. I'm Let's good, Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> just give me the joke the uh one thing about like like hiddleston the actor because he wasn't this way in the first Thor. you know i don't remember him being as um quippy and as you know funny as he's grown to be throughout like the thor and avengers movies and everything um i think josh wheaton you know josh wheaton's movie sort of made him a lot more of a likable not likable character you know as far as um you know his his quips and everything and his banner with thor um 
So for him to develop that all the way up until this, you know, particular show, we're going to have some fun these next episodes just mm-hmm. with Tom Hiddleston alone, you know, and, you know, with Owen Wilson as, as, as like the, 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 um, you know, the, the voice, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, it's, it's going to be some really great banter. I mean, I'm excited for, um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't, I don't know who is going to guest star or, um, you know, what other things are going to come I've, I've sort of basically kept, mm-hmm. You know, out of the 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 Twitter sphere as far as anything that's coming, so I'm just coming in with you know fresh eyes and everything. But um, I'm excited um, for you know, is it six episodes? I believe. Um, I think so. Yes, I'm like that. Yeah, yes. usually. Yeah. Um, yeah, about like six six out. You know, good forty five minute episodes. Um, I, I like the length. You know, it's not overly you know um long and it's not you know too short. You know, and it cuts off. Um, right when you want more, <laughs> you know, so that's the, that's the Marvel way. It just leaves you, okay, we can't wait. We're going to talk about this all week, you know, and social media <laughs> and everything. And then, you know, it, it, I, it, the, the theories are just going to come a bomb with this type of thing. It's just like, this is just theory heaven right here, yeah. you know, so. <laughs> it could be uh, anything. Exactly, yeah. The multiverse is so cool. Uh, that's what, that's what makes it so awesome is that there, anything can happen. It's like, a, it's just a total wild card. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited that they're continuing to do the, the daring storytelling. Uh, they're, you know, they're not doing anything lazy. They're keeping yeah. things a little bit weird. They're, they have an idea here where, you know, Loki is sort of the thing. Loki is the, the antagonist and the protagonist. Um, which again is very interesting. You know, these aren't stories that are told in traditional ways. You know, this isn't gonna, this isn't the type of thing that would make sense if you had, didn't have the long build up of the regular marvel movies so that you could see like like if you only have a fastball right in baseball and you don't have a change up then hitters will always catch up to your fastball no matter how fast you're throwing it right right so this so those movies you know like avengers one is the fastball and loki is the change up um one thing that some critics of these shows seem to not get is the fact that traditional storytelling in the Marvel universe has never been the thing. You know, they this is not your this is a universe versal story that you're telling. And it's many different facets and tones and stuff and different characters and stuff that are integrated in a thing that, you know, the 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 casual people, I guess, critics or whoever, you know, are just now getting hit to when it was a world we were already hit too many years ago. And, you know, we've grown up on this type of storytelling. So y'all are just catching up, like, you know, you know, using a metaphor, you know, Hitch was saying um, to the fastball. That's that's just been like, you know, just going so fast. And, you know, you guys are um, um, really just catching up to this point, um, you know, to the critics of these shows who think that, OK, you put it. This is a TV show. You give me a beginning, middle and end, you know, and I'm supposed to, you know, follow all these other threads just to get the character for this show. No, you come in as don't, don't think too much about it. You know, um, have an open mind. If you can, if you, if you are with this episode, it alone should have gotten you with Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston's characters, um, you know, going, you know, you know, quipping with each other and stuff. If you didn't laugh at any of that stuff, that was, I, I don't know what to say. You know, it's not, it's not the type of show for you. I agree. I mean, and that's, that's what Marvel and all com- what comic book movies are supposed to be like. You know, you're supposed to get away from the reality of everything, you know, except for, you know, the Sam and, you know, the more grounded ones. Right. You know, this is this is by far, you know, a more Cosmo thing. So you're expecting it to be more um, comic booky. So, you know, you're, you're going to be expecting, you know, things. And I, I can see how critics would not like it because maybe they're not into the character of Loki. Maybe they don't know who Loki is, where we known loki since 2012 you know it's like we, we grew up with loki we've yeah. seen the different loki stages and yeah you know like as well this is the 2012 loki but that also stems from thor 3 it's like the quip now is like they know they know what they're doing with the loki character right and, right and, it hit, and, it and you're going to see all of that in this series mm-hmm. you're going you're going to see the like i said you're going to see the, the tragedy of loki you're going to see the funny part of loki you know you're going to see the manipulative you know the the backstabbing part of it. You're going to see everything that Loki had and what has created this character here. I mean, but, but one of my favorite scenes, the funny scenes, is when, like, he's like, 
what did I know I'm a robot? And he's like, <laughs> he's like yeah. what, what, what if I know I'm a robot? Maybe I don't know I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen to me? You know, and he, yeah, he just pauses and, you know, the, 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 the little guy just quips and everything. He's like, get on over here. Get on yeah. through the thing. <laughs> Move along, sir. <laughs> Move along, Move sir. along. We have a lot of yous coming through today. That's yeah. funny. That's oh, funny. boy. This is a really, a really promising start is what yeah. this is. You know, yeah, it's, it's interesting yeah. to see, you know, is this the is Loki that we're seeing here talking to Owen Wilson? Is this the same Loki that's doing these things or is it a real different variant, right? Is this sort of like I can't beat him. If you can't beat him, join him and then take him down sort of thing. Uh, or is it, you know, and is it really like, um, or are we just seeing the beginning of that story and everything sort of folded on itself like a, you know, like a, like a time ball of yarn just because they're, right. they're outside the normal continuum. So there's a lot to, a lot to unpack there and they have five more episodes to do this. And I'm glad they did more. They let it breathe instead of trying to do this in a movie. So excellent. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pacing of the episode was great. It felt like a movie, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it wasn't your typical CW crap. Let me stop. Let me stop. Anyway, I'm annoyed Why by the Flash. I, I'm annoyed by the Flash nowadays. Hit, um, the um, the Michael, Flash so. has gone downhill so much. I, I, I'm, 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 so I've, I've, I've Superman yeah. and Lois, high quality, great yes. stuff right Come on. there. That yes. is just at, at least excellent. We, right. That at least that has taken over the Flash. I mean, yes, that's, yes, that's yes, Superman. Yes. That's a different yeah. topic. Yeah, that's a whole yes. different yes. thing. So that's we'll get to that Superman. another day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Superman. That's my Superman. This Superman want to grow a mustache for some Guy Ritchie movie. And refuse to shave it for reshoots because he's Superman. Superman, which has to be one of the three best jobs in Hollywood, if you want my opinion. Um, right. Ungrateful, that yeah, Henry Cavill. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm really, I'm just real excited about this show. Yeah. I, I think that we yeah. had anticipated this to kind of talk a little more meta about. Uh, you know our expectations. We I we had seen these three series were coming out, and I'd been saying all year, this is the one that I'm literally looking forward to. This is the one that looks like the most experimental, the weirdest. Yeah, and, weird. You know, we we love weird. Yeah, that's the stuff I'm into. <laughs> it's weirder, the weirder the better. Yeah. yeah um. Yeah. So that's I don't know what else do you guys got about Loki. Are we rolling? I, mean, you know, I, know, I know we already did this. Is, this is yeah, oh, the, the DB Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, that was awesome. That all was right, awesome. finally the mystery has been solved. Yeah, finally I'm such. I'm such a fan of the I'm such a fanboy of DB Cooper, and it's all solved for me now. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love that. You know, you guys better be ready with this thing, and then like they they suck him out of the air, and it's because <laughs> he lost a bet. <laughs> and so DB Cooper, you know that that that's one of the great mysteries. I mean, except that guy just I mean, obviously the guy just broke his neck and died, right? Like that's pretty much. You know, no right, way, right, right. man. The story goes. He lived on, man. <laughs> I know what the story goes. Like, I, I'm aware of all that, but, the, you know, I'm thinking, like, reality. Apparently here. Heimdall got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thor's just counting that money. Oh. What are they going to do with the money, though? Ah, uh, yeah. ah, well. Mystery solved. All right. I'm excited Mystery to see where solved. else. That's so, so we've been to 1858, where we have, like, just striking oil, right? Oil that just bubbled up on the ground. That used to happen right. around here, around Pittsburgh all the time. That's where that's where oil started, oh, wow. around here, Washington and Oil City. Uh, and you know, the, the, so he's so Loki is luring this Loki, the devil is luring um, time cops out and stealing their time fighting equipment, right? So what that what's he what so his plans involve the reset bombs. We haven't seen what they've done, but Loki has. Uh, they've hidden that from us for the most part. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where we go. I, I, I like that element too because not only do we get like you know this Loki from 2012, but we still get a Loki who's going to be devious and mischievous. You know, so if they're searching for another variant of Loki, I mean Hiddleston is about to have a field day with where? with a with, with a with a bunch of acting. So you know, this, if, if, so if these Loki. So if by the end of Avengers one. <clears throat> Like Loki was essentially on a path to redemption, which is what happens in the in the main line, in the fastball Marvel universe, and is happening here in the change up Marvel universe. It's going to happen twice, it seems. Um, where and what is the variance that ca that creates the Loki that is wrecking the multiverse, right? All mm -hmm. of reality. That's right. that's my right. question. You're right, and and I mean, I'm sure we'll find out. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've been paying off, right? I mean, we said they got to pay off the, we said they had to pay off the shield thing, paid it off, so paid that off. 
And they had to pay mm-hmm. off, you know, they had to pay off Vision and uh, Wanda. We had to understand what was going on there. We understand that. So they pay yeah. off. They're not rolling yeah. things forward anymore. They don't have to tease us. They already have our money. So. Yeah, they, they got our money, you know, um, and they, they're not afraid to spend the money. I, one thing I could tell, um, they, they're they using the whatever they're using for Mandalorian as far as like the um, – like the 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 volume, the uh, the the visuals, the CGI or whatever, the effects, the volume, and everything the, um, that they're using as far as backgrounds, it's the same thing. You know, it's the it's 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 great. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they they don't they they can be at that Manhattan Beach studio and be able to use all those um you know effects and everything in camera is what they call it. Yeah. Um, versus traveling out and, you know, going to like the various scenes, deserts and all that stuff to, to get all that done. You, you, uh, I mean, I can visually notice it, but it's so much better than, um, you know, you know, green screen type stuff, you know, so it blends in well with like the, um, you know, the characters and it's, it's still, it keeps you so immersed that it still maintains like that movie quality, just like we've seen in like the Mandalorian. Right, and that's what you kind of expect from Marvel. You know, you don't expect them to cheap yeah. out. So. No, not at all. Dis- Disney is not playing with their service. <laughs> they they <laughs> <No>. never do. <laughs> no, they don't no. play with any of this stuff. They're very they're a very serious organization, and that's why we don't mess with them, yeah. even a Hitch, little bit. Hitch went 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 Hitch when 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 someone told me at Disneyland they use toothbrushes to make sure that some of the sidewalk stuff are like you know spick and span and everything you know that that's that 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 speaks to a level of quality of what this organization um um calls for you know so you expect nothing but the best when it comes mm-hmm. to like Disney that's their deal we're doing it we're doing it that's the it. best and honestly. <clears throat> resort i mean i'm not gonna sit here and do an infomercial for them although i guess pretty much all of our stuff is nowadays <laughs> i mean goodness gracious i mean we talk about disney properties for hours and hours a week now um but we're happy yeah, to do much. it yeah. and then listen uh we're not gonna shut up uh but we are gonna let them take our money so that's okay uh yeah. Yeah. but that's that's why we'll yeah, start we'll be it back up. next week to do it too yeah this is a really <laughs> great a really great teaser episode so we'll be back next week with episode two on the nerd psycho uh comic Flick show. Before we go, though, I wanted to uh, throw this over to DP Brown because I know DP, you have uh, you have something to promote, and I want to let you do it. Hey, I I made a comic, guys. That's that's what I do. You know, I'm I'm a comic book writer now, so thank you for that. Um, uh, it's called the Theme of Thieves. You can go to themeofthieves.com. Um, it's about a story of three people who travel through time. Ooh, we're on time variance. We, you know, we talk about time on this show. I got a thing that, you know, talks about um, people traveling through time and they're trying to solve a mystery of why people are disappearing in present day. Some pretty deep stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm um, influenced by Quantum Leap, Lost, and also The Wire. So you get all those elements mixed into, you know, this story. And I think I got something good for you. So make sure you guys go to themeofthieves.com and check it out um i got a kickstarter going on so you know if um you're uh, watching this and the kickstarter is still going on please go there and you know pledge and get your reward you know and get the comic theme of thieves.com ladies and gentlemen this is nerd psycho comic flick show for uh june 9th Uh, we were just here a couple days ago june 9th 2021 for loki episode one for the rest of the nerds and this is Hitch. And we just end the show here. So with that, we're going to leave. Nerd Cyclopedia.